Hi guys. How are you? Okay. So I am going to show you what I Who's Hi Charlie. I'm not doing anything makeup today. <laughs> I'm supposed to, but I can't be bothered. So, um this is what I've been up to, okay? So this is what I have been up to this morning, just to relax myself, um, creating these eco paper dyeing. Okay, so hi Ned, hi Amanda. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this quickly, um, really, really quickly, live. Okay, okay. Can you see? This is my first attempt, so not so good. Um, and then it's getting a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. I quite like this wet thingy look. Hi, Juliet. And um, this is my latest one. So, first of all, you go on the garden, which is um, there's nothing out there at the moment. But surprisingly, when you look down, you see loads. Okay, so that's my um, vegetable plot that. My husband Steve built me many many years ago. Hello, Juliet. Um, but at the moment, it's invaded by mint, which is terrible. Maybe I should put some mint in. Okay, so I've been outside and collecting some um, weeds and flowers. So I have dandelion. Uh, this is one of my favorite flowers that I banned the boys to cut the grass because they're, they're so precious and they seem to turn out okay. So um, these are um, black elderflower. I thought because it's um, a very interesting color. Um, I have some kind of faded lilac. Let's see how it goes. And I don't know what these are. They just kind of like grow on the side of the path. Um, it's the same as this. And um, I have hydrangeas leaves. They don't do nothing. So bind. And um, I sacrificed my lovely, lovely magnolia. I thought that might work well, but no. A shame, so I'm going to soak that in flowers because um, I don't want to bin them. Um, and lilac leaves don't do anything. Dandelions are good. I don't know about rosemary. I'm not sure. haven't tried yet. So let's see. So in here, a tray of um, water mixed with alum powder. That's the only thing that you need that you don't have in your cupboard. I bought them on um, Amazon for three pounds for a bag of these, hundred gram. Alum powder um, in Asian country, they use them to turn hard water into soft water. Um, and some um, old fashioned recipes, you use them for cooking to retain the crunchiness of the um, texture of the vegetable, which is weird. Hi, Bernie. Um, so basically, um, in this case for eco dyeing, this is the product. There are so many different things that you can dye, but this is quite safe. Uh, it's called Mordant. Basically, it's to release the, um, the pigment from the natural plants and transfer it onto the materials. In this case, we're using paper, but you could use fabric, okay? Um, so in here, I mix it up a bit of water um, with alum powder. I don't know. You might have to look up the recipes. I just randomly guessed them and, you know, um, just like I said, random. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak my paper into um, the alum powder solution. Okay, so I've got this. Um, I've tried a few paper but this one seemed to work really well because it's quite absorbent and you can take ironing really well so I'm just gonna trim this quickly mm -mm 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 -mm. okay hi Catherine I'm going to fold the paper in half like so you can be more um, delicate about it but I don't care okay because you might need to cut them anyway so getting out of the way and I'm going to soak the paper into the tray. I'll show you in a minute. My water is quite shallow, so um, I'm going to have to cook it in. Okay, so. Just give it a gentle bath. It's quite relaxing. <sighs> Make sure it's nice and wet. Look, just give it a pat. Hi, Rage. 
Okay, so once it's nice and saturated, I'm going to flip it over. It doesn't matter, you don't have to be too fine out about it on this one. Um, let's just eyeball it and don't have to be precious about anything. I think I've used up a bit of paper, um, water already, so it's a bit tricky. So you need to coax it in a bit. You can use car wash sponge, anything, face painting sponge. Go for it, guys. Life's too short. Okay, so I think that's nice and soaked. Okay, so the beauty about watercolor paper is it can take quite a bit of abuse because I'm gonna um, iron the heck out of it as well. Okay, with on this side, I have my ironing board set out with a bit of fabric and um, wax paper and set it on high. Okay, so now um, let's come back here and let's have some fun. Okay, I don't know what this is. We'll try, okay? So I'm gonna just kinda gently dab it in a bit of alum water, saturated it a bit, just to help it release the um, pigment from its leaves. I don't know if that's gonna do anything because I haven't tried that yet, that's new. But I know that buttercup is amazing, so I'm gonna slap the whole lot in, okay? And this is like a young, um, Elderflower berries. I think that would be amazing when it's a bit older. Um, and some um, wildflower, God knows what. Probably birdies did some poop at the back of my garden and then grow these or whatever. And then let's do some faded lilac. And um, this one works really well. It's called Californian um, lavender, but it's not lavender at all. So um, I'm going to just kind of a few out and soak in the water um, and I quite like these little cute blue flower so just saturated them like so okay okay that's good we have six people oh and then let's try mint I don't know if that's gonna work we'll see but I know that when you leave mint when you chop them and then leave them out a bit they're a bit brown aren't they so I don't know if they're gonna be nice but brown's good any color right Hi Pavi, how are you? Oh, this this might be a good project with the you guys. Um, I'm just gonna do eco dyeing. You can do this um, on um, fabric as well. It takes better with protein fabric like wools or silk, but cotton will do. Um, if you dye these colors in cotton, it will just turn brownie because um, the pigment doesn't take in somehow. But um, if it is silk or wool, it takes in a bit better. And if you do some research, you'll know certain um, flowers and leaves are better at releasing dye okay so um this is a bit too clumpy i tried them before so i'm gonna one-handedly just gently sprinkle them like so quite like sprinkling effect and just slap it on okay my favorite the i might pinch some like so just face down i don't know when you do something, you think, okay, does it look natural? If it looks natural, it's good. If it's not, do it again. Okay. Um, just squash it in. We'll see if that works. And my favorite elder berry thingy. Bit of leafy thingy. Um, I think one side of the leaves work better than the other, so we'll just have to wait and see. Which side? I can't remember. And um, a bit more. Oh, let's try lilac. Lilac. I would love some red flowers or something. I don't know. Or um, red leaves. What kind of leaves are red? Would love to try them. Okay, maybe a bit more. I, I have problem with um, empty spaces. Some people like, you know, plain and simple, but I, I don't, I have problem stopping. <laughs> you know what I'm like. So, let's try a bit more. Um, slap it on, right? Okay, I think that might be nearly. Hi, Maria and Zoe. Okay, nearly there, I think. Just keep it 
oh, I don't want to waste my buttercups because I almost took the whole lot in my garden. So you go out and, you know, make sure that they, there's nothing um, poisonous, I guess. Yeah, go, Kathleen. See you later. Ooh, Copper Beach. Sounds good, um, Juliet. I don't have any. Um, okay, so um, so this is quite wet and saturated, as you can see, okay? And that side is wet and saturated, but I'm going to help it a bit more by using vinegar water. I just put in a, um, a spray bottle and spray it a bit, okay? Hi Olivia, I haven't seen you for ages. So I'm gonna just chuck the paper like that. And wax paper. Okay, see you later, Net. Um and I'm going to iron the hell out of it, okay? So you kind of like gently squash the fabric, I mean, you know, the paper down a bit. Make sure it's nice and um, well ventilated. It doesn't smell anything, it smells like cooked greeny leafy thing okay so once it's nice and squashed you put a lot of weight in onto your project this is when um you kind of like it's a therapy <laughs> therapy for me and just keep killing the paper and then be nice to everybody else and come home and just you know be um aggressive towards my paper yeah <laughs> Okay, let me have a quick sip. It's hard working, you know. Mm. Okay. Right, keep going. Because um, I soaked the paper quite well. It smells like you're burning leaf or something. So if you have any questions, please do ask me. <sighs> Not that I have any problem keep filling the um, airtime with my chatting. <laughs> I should be preparing my work, but um, got a bit stressed out this morning. Um, and felt like I need to do something to um, relax and don't have to think about it too much. <laughs> Juliet, so are you? So after a while, I can feel that the water, you know, started to evaporate it a bit. I'm just flip it over, and then again. Um, the first couple of projects I did, you know, the first few tries, um, I got a bit too excited and I stopped too early. So um, that's when it doesn't really tra transfer that well. Um, I found this project somehow stumbled across someone who eco dyeing their fabric and it's beautiful. But you have to boil them in a pot that you don't need. And I haven't got any. So um, some people boil papers. They, they bunch them up together. Hi, Gemma. Um, you know, um, but you have to boil it for a couple of hours and you can throw like rusty nuts and bolts. I am making them right now. I haven't got any rusty things. So I soak a few, um, keys and screws in the water outside. My husband thinks I'm bonkers. <laughs> Is anyone has, um, <laughs> rusty things on <don't> bin them? <laughs> Honestly, it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god, I'll show you my ironing board, Juliet, because um, you're right, um, I've done loads of ac acrylic ironing on here, um, dye paint, oh my god, um, and normally I don't really iron my own clothes because um, I only iron um, Steve's work clothes, poor thing, use the same ironing board. <laughs> okay, I'm still going. Because I, I think it's a bit too wet this time. So I'm taking out the um, wax paper now. And I'm going to keep pressing it down. I'm going to turn the camera so you can have a look what it looks like now. Okay, so I'm just going to press the table against my oven. <laughs> and just keep going like that, okay? Can you hear me? I'm gritting my teeth because it's so much fun. Okay, can you see that some colors coming through? That's good news. Okay, so keep going. I don't know how this is happening, what's going on, but I can see that it's um, going through. So let's have a quick peep. Okay, ooh, it's not quite. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to spray a little bit of 
um, vinegar paper, vinegar water. I don't know if that helps, but I saw some ladies on YouTube do it. <laughs> Good old YouTube. Oh, it smells like fish and chips now. Keep going. Haha, -ha, you four crazy people watching me ironing. <laughs> exactly, Amanda. Hi, Helen. Are you not supposed to be working? You coming to watch me um, ironing? Good job. Okay, so. <sighs> no, I think I'm going to splash a bit of... um. Alum water because that seemed to make it juicy. Hi Eugenie, belated happy birthday. You coming in to see me ironing? Good girl. <laughs> okay, I think it's quite dry now. I don't know how this is gonna work. It, it feels quite dry and uh, it doesn't really release as much. Uh, okay, to heck with it, let's try. Don't want to keep you too. Um, okay, right. Let's have a look. Okay, that side doesn't do much, but that side works quite well. Okay, I think maybe the key is to ram the page on with lots of petals and leaves. I think. I think I left it too um, too empty. I think I like mine full. And um, so I blame you guys for keeping me talking. Oh, let's have a look at this one. What does it do? Oh, uh, very disappointing on that side. It's not too bad that side. It's like a um, limey green, isn't it? Lime green. And um, this is the berry one. It's very effective, isn't it? Okay, so maybe I'm going to do another layer of these because it's too um, empty for me. I know some people will just shout, stop. Just stop already, but um, I am a go hard or go home kind of girl. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm um, just peeling these dodgy, soggy petals and leaves off. Okay, uh, it looks pretty good, but um, look at that bit, it's a bit disappointing, isn't it? So, let's go back in with my saturated stuff. Try to choose like um maybe that one's quite young leaf and maybe it hasn't got a lot of um I know buttercup looks good isn't it Amanda? So you know maybe because it was quite a young leaf I don't know if the front side or the back side <laughs> the back side <laughs> giggling um the back of the leaves are the bits that release the dye I don't know so let's um put some more in. Okay, maybe, and then I'm just gonna splash more alum water on it, like that. Hi, Mita, you coming me coming to watch me doing ironing? Okay, just leave that there for a bit, and shut the page. Let's see if this is gonna work. I don't know. Okay, you watch. Hello. The back side. Do you think the back side works better, Gemma? <laughs> My back side definitely works better than <laughs> <In> front. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is gonna work. I turn my iron super high, okay? No, I just use dry, use dry one. Don't need to steam, I don't think. Otherwise, we'll have like a... Um, cooked vegetables <laughs> because we want to dry the page so um, I reckon we'll just leave it to dry I was thinking about that actually it would probably work try it oh it's quite stiff <laughs> what do you think of the weather because um, I've been sitting inside coop up and I feel a bit depressed so I'm cold but because I'm be, I've been outside and collecting these little plants and leaves, I feel really good about myself now. Um, I have lots of negative thoughts sometimes, don't we? Well, I do. It's really hard to shake it out. So this is my way to shake it out. 
honestly. I'm still ironing and I pressed the weight really, really big. So I set the table quite low so then I can use my weight. You know, like Thai massage. Yeah, just use your weight, okay? I think it might be nearly done. Let me have a look. Hi Mariska, I'm ironing, I'm ironing, but I'm not ironing anything in particular, I'm just ironing some paper. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that one is quite a lot of petals, see, so and it kind of like release the paint and pigment out. I like that. What about this one? Do you think it's going to work? I don't know. Oh yeah, baby. So basically, I think the other leaves were a bit too small and they're still young, so it hasn't got enough pigment in it. Um, but this bigger one, it's got loads of pigment, look. Okay, so that's, um, that's my attempt live for you. So that's it, guys. So you can either cut that and um, I know some people use it as journaling, um, but for me, I'm going to turn them into accordion book. Do you know what an accord accordion book is? It's like, you know, a compilation of your scrap art that you have done and it went wrong. Okay, so have a try. Um, so the flowers that I used were buttercups and some... Um, um, Things that are not supposed to go in your garden. What do you call them? Um, you know, random stuff. And um, I think I'll be going. I'll be walking later and um, knocking on people's doors and see if I can cut a couple of leaves. And um, this particular flower works really well as well. So I have a few more um, pages to do. I'm going to do it all afternoon actually until the school school run today. Um, I'm going to finish the whole lot because I don't want to waste my um, lovely harvest that I have done this one works well as well but do not over ironing them because they've gone brown um, what do you call them dandelion I know that dahlia works really well if you have some that they started to fade um, so um, oh lavender doesn't work so don't cut them no point wasting my sprigs look I love the smell though okay um, enjoy and I'm sending you lots of love I'm a bit missing home today. I want my mummy. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, some weed meter. I try not to say it because people might, people might think I'm smoking weed. <laughs> so um, I guess this is just a kill time and take my mind off home a bit. I know this is my home now, but it's still a little bit sad sometimes so i'm sending you lots of love mita and eugenie um juju i don't know who else here but thank you so much for watching and being my company lots of love bye